now let's check that folder. Where are you? Oh no, I closed it. Oh well. I'll get it back. Should be in the bin. Debug. Alright, see song one is beginning to download. And it's actually if I press back and forward again you see should Alright, so all right, I think it's pretty much finished downloading. Alright, so we downloaded the song, and that's just a way to get the source code, download the song. And if you want to go through it, um, if you want to do all of them at once, uh, you can write like a little while statement or something. Actually, I'll just show you how to do it. Alright. Okay. And... Let's see... Let's just hold on. Let me think. How would I do this? If you don't understand what I'm really doing, uh, you can just copy and or type down the code yourself. Basically, what I'm saying is, uh, while there are no more links left, or while there are already links left, um, we want to continue to get the links, pretty much. And let's create. Actually, let's create a queue. Uh, or a list. List is better. I want to link this. Add link. Alright. And then we want to source code equals source code out replace we want to replace um, got to get rid of all the the previous links by just erasing them pretty much that with just nothing. This should get rid of it. Okay. Alright. Now, so what we did is we got the index of the file. We got the actual file, added an mp3 onto it. And then we added the URL to the file name to get the full link. Then we added the full link to a list. Then we erased the list. So we pretty much say we got this completely and then we basically just deleted it. So the next time we get the index of ahref it'll go to this one instead of staying on this one and going over again and again and again and again. Alright. And then now that we have all the uh, now that we have all the uh, links in a list we can use like a for each statement string link in list I mean this will download them all and if you want to make it uh, a little bit better you can use the download file complete and once it's completed you can download the next one but this is pretty much just a simple way to do it and I mean that's all I can teach you for now I mean there's a lot more stuff you can do with it just you know fool around with it see what you can actually do with it and you can actually customize it to do a lot of stuff for you uh, pretty simply. And um, if you'd like to see any more tutorials, make sure to leave a comment on my video. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, make sure to head to the websites in the description. I actually started a new one called freecodesnippets.com. It's a good place to get all the snippets for your code, including C Sharp. So head to that website. Alright, uh, this is Quackware signing out.